This is Sally Cohn for the Women's Media Center. I am talking with the amazing Arlene Holtbaker, the Executive Vice President of the AFL-CIO. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Sally. I'm glad to be here. It's my pleasure. Uh, Arlene, what's your first feminist memory? My first feminist memory? Golly, I believe that actually my first feminist memory probably is organizing women in the city of Los Angeles, clerical employees, and having a conversation with a young woman who was a typist, a clerk typist, who told me that she wasn't going to join the union because she was soon going to get married and have children and she wouldn't have to work. And I said to her that I wished her well in all of those endeavors, but if I came back in the next year and asked her to join the union, would she join if she found herself after marriage still having to work? And I think that stands out for me in terms of women needing to understand that as women, you know, you can't be totally dependent on uh, men necessarily, but uh, that it is important for you to be able to have a good job be able to take care of yourself and be able to have a union that can help you move yourself into the middle class, you and your family. Now, Arlene, you're one of the uh, you're one of the few brilliant uh, leaders uh, in a, in a very male field. Frankly, the uh, union field is not known for producing a lot of female leaders, let alone women of color leaders. Uh, do you have a sense that the labor movement's changing in that regard? Well, I absolutely do know that the labor movement is changing, and the labor movement, quite frankly, has no choice. Because our movement, if it's going to grow, we know that the most likely group of people that say that they would form and join a union tomorrow are people of color and women. And therefore, we have had no choice. Uh, you said that the labor movement helped to produce, but quite frankly, women themselves stepped up and uh, got engaged and got involved and decided that, you know what, we, we had a voice and we were going to make it heard. All right, Arlene, it's time for a mystery basket question. Come on, pick it out and read it. Now, she tells me to read it with no glasses. Okay, okay. If you could meet any female leader, living or dead, who would you choose and why? I can, this is a very easy one for me. I'd always hoped that I could have met Barbara Jordan because I admired her so. She was such a brilliant woman, brilliant. And I remember, my so again, one of the memories of watching the Democratic Convention uh, when she chaired it. So I've always admired her, I admired her strength, her brilliance, and her knowledge. And that's the person that I would love to have spent some quality time with. Well, I suspect she'd be very proud of you. A pleasure talking with you, Arlene. As a Texan, I hope so. No doubt. Okay. Thank you.